here on Democracy Now! I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. As Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro attends the Summit of the Americas this week in Los Angeles, fear is growing over the safety of British journalist Dom Phillips and Bruno Pereira, a protector of Brazilian indigenous communities. After the pair were reported missing Sunday in Brazil, in one of the most remote areas of the Amazon, Phillips is a longtime freelance reporter, and Pereira is a former Brazilian government official. The two were last seen while traveling by boat in the northern Brazilian state of Amazonas, near the border with Peru. Phillips was doing research for a book on the Amazon, was in the region to interview indigenous leaders patrolling the area for illegal miners and fishers. Pereira had recently received death threats over his work, which followed the murders of many indigenous leaders and local journalists working in the Amazon. Pereira's partner told a Sao Paulo newspaper, quote, I have a three-year-old son and one who is two. All I can think about right now is that he comes up safe for the sake of the boys. Dom Phillips' wife, Alessandra Sampao, appealed for help in finding her husband. We demand the competent organisms to intensify the search, because we still have a small hope of finding them. Even if I don't find the love of my life alive, they have to be found. Please intensify their search. Before, I didn't want to speak, because the whole family was very surprised. We didn't know how to react. But please, I make this call to intensify the search. Thank you. The Brazilian government has said it's trying to find Phillips and Pereira, but authorities have been accused of failing to act quickly. Meanwhile, on Tuesday, the far-right president, Jair Bolsonaro, appeared to blame the two men for their own disappearance, saying, quote, two people in a boat in a region like that, completely wild, it's an unadvisable adventure, anything can happen, maybe there was an accident, maybe they were executed, Bolsonaro said. Well, for more, we're joined in Sao Paulo by Ana Alfinito, the Brazilian legal advisor for Amazon Watch. Welcome to Democracy Now! In this last few minutes we have with you, Ana, can you tell us what you know, um, where they were last seen, the significance of their work, and what you're calling for? Um, yes, good morning. Good morning, Amy. Um, so, what we know is that Bruno Pereira and Dom Phillips were last seen in a small riverine community um, in, in the northwest of Amazonas state. They were there doing the work um, defending the territorial rights of indigenous peoples in this region. They had been working. Uh, Bruno Pereira was one of the, is one of the most experienced um, indigenous specialists in in Brazil. He has worked for a long time in this region. He's a long time public servant of Funai. Um, they, he had been there um, to support the territorial surveillance of indigenous groups in the Javari Valley. And he was joined by Dom Phillips, um, a journalist, longtime correspondent of several international uh, medias, where they were working to denounce, register um, the attacks against indigenous territorial rights in this region. Um, they were last seen on Sunday in this riverine community when they were heading back to, to um, a city called Atalai do Norte. Um, they were supposed to arrive on Sunday in the city, but they never arrived. Um, so the search operations against them um, are being carried out since then, especially by the Union of Indigenous Peoples um, of the Vale do Javari, or Java. Um, who has been calling on, together with other civil society organizations, desperately calling on government um, to send um, to send resources and, and to send people for this operation, because we know that every second counts so that we can find them alive and well. And Ana, could you talk, tell us who, who are the Univaja patrol teams? And, and also, could you comment on President Bolsonaro's response saying could have been an accident, they could have been executed, and, but that it wasn't advisable for them to go in the area where they went. Yes, of course. So, so I, it's, it's important to, to understand um, what this patrol team is against the backdrop of indigenous policy in Brazil under the Bolsonaro government. Um, so the Bolsonaro government has um, is dismantling all structures of indigenous policies um, in Brazil. He has been, his government has been um, underfunding all sorts of enforcement operations. So today, 
the government is no longer carrying out um, environmental, social environmental enforcement of indigenous lands. Um, there has been increased pressure from illegal markets within these lands. So if we look at the Vale do Javari indigenous land, this is the second largest indigenous territory in Brazil. It's a territory with the highest concentration of isolated indigenous peoples in the country. So this region is, is a heritage of, of humanity in environmental and in cultural terms. Um, but unfortunately, under the Bolsonaro government, um, federal government has been doing nearly nothing to protect these lands. Quite on the contrary, um, it has transformed the federal indigenous agency, FUNAI, into an anti-indigenous um, bureaucracy that's been attacking indigenous rights, criminalizing indigenous leaders. Um, and it's against this backdrop that indigenous groups in the Valle do Javari indigenous land and in other indigenous lands have been by themselves organizing to protect their territory. And this is what these surveillance um, groups are about, to register, to denounce the invasion of the territories and to demand that government do its part to remove illegal occupants, illegal fishing people um, from indigenous lands. Um, so it's in this context of supporting the surveillance, um, the surveillance surveillance groups um, that Don Phillips and uh, that Bruno Pereira um, have disappeared. And we know that they had been receiving threats. We know that there are other people three who are being threatened in this territory. We want to thank you, Ana Alfinito, uh, Brazil legal advisor for Amazon Watch, speaking to us from Sao Paulo. We'll continue to cover this case. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez.